Happy Sunday. So I'm back again to share another recipe today. Um, it's Swiss chard. So for those of you that don't know, it's just a leafy green vegetable similar to collard or kale, but just a little bit of um, different flavor. And people that are looking to go plant-based, you want to have options for your greens, right? Um, a lot of people eat spinach and collard greens or kale, but Swiss chard, again, is another really good vegetable, uh, leafy green, lots of vitamin D, helps with circulations, joints, gives a lot of health benefits to Swiss chard. So without further ado, we'll get started. So far, I have four garlic cloves, and I've talked about my fresh press. If you don't have a garlic press, you can just chop the garlic. That's fine. So I've used four garlic cloves. You can use two to four. I also mentioned how I really don't like wasting any part of the food that I buy. So while I do chop the stems out, separate the stems from the leaves, I do saute the stems in here with the garlic, okay? So we got that going. It's two tablespoons of oil, two to four garlic cloves, and then you just want to saute the stems in here as well, okay? Two to three minutes of that. You'll hear it sizzling. It already smells delicious. So we're going to slowly add the Swiss chard to the pan. And I have, again, two packs of Swiss chard washed and dry because leafy vegetables contain a lot of water. So you want to dry it as much as possible. And I mentioned how when I'm cooking, sometimes I'll cover the vegetables just because it cooks a little bit faster. Okay? So we'll let that kind of simmer down. And um, the other ingredients that we'll be using, the Swiss chard, the garlic, the olive oil, of course, um, <clears throat> red pepper flakes, and either sea salt or if you're a fan of seasoning salt, a little bit of that for flavor, okay? While that's simmering, um, I'm going to share with you my favorite beverage, which is cucumber infused water. <laughs> I drink it all the time. I drink as much of it as I can every day. It's so good for you. The health benefits are numerous. It prevents cancer, gives you fresh breath, um, clears your skin, and helps your hair and nails. So lots of benefits to drinking cucumber infused water. Okay, and it tastes really good. It adds like a nice flavor to it. Mm -hmm. So with that, this cooks down very quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and take the cover off and just stir it up a little bit to get the garlic and the um, stems that were chopped up with the garlic kind of just spread around here. And it cooks kind of like spinach and collards. It cooks very well. You want to get the oil and everything all mixed in to the vegetables, okay? And as it cooks down, I like to kind of make a space in the center as I'm adding. And I do the same thing with collard greens, same thing with kale. Again, medium to um, medium high temperature. And then I just add the greens right down the middle because that's um, where it cooks the fastest. Cover it up again, give it a few minutes just to cook down and continuing to do the same thing. I'm going to pause while that cooks. Okay, so this is the last bit of Swiss chard I added to the middle, and I'm going to take the cooked Swiss chard on the side and just cover it up so that, again, it doesn't burn, but we're helping it to cook down by just covering the freshly added Swiss in the center by the Swiss chard that's on the outside, okay? Again, just keep mixing it around so that all of the stems and fresh garlic, our combined with that again, okay? So give that a few more minutes and again, if we cover it, it cooks a little quicker. I've decided in the midst of cooking that I'm going to pair it with um, sweet potato fries. Um, I have an air fryer that I love to use and I love color with my meals. So wash and dry the potatoes and then just cut them into small sizes um, of fries and it doesn't matter you want them to have to have uh, to be evenly cut so you don't want really big pieces and really little pieces but 
try to get them as even as possible, okay? I'm going to put another hold on here while I set the air fryer up, and we'll go into the instructions for that. Okay, so we're back with the Swiss chard, which is just about completed. The only step is to add, I'm going to use seasoning salt today, um, not a lot, just a little bit of seasoning salt and a few crushed red peppers to give it a little bit of heat, um, not too, too much, and then you can mix it up again so those flavors just absorb into the Swiss chard, okay? So this will be, again, paired today with um, sweet potato fries. So I have my air fryer heating up, um, 400, and we're going to cook it for probably about 18 to 20 minutes. Now, when I cook at high heat, I use avocado oil. You don't need a lot with the air fryer, just a tablespoon or um, two. And I'm going to use sea salt. Not a lot, just a little bit. Because French fries and sweet potato fries all need some sea salt. Okay, so mix it well. Um, I didn't peel the potato. It's just a sweet potato, uh, really washed well and dried well. And that's pretty much it. So once this heats up, go ahead and add the sweet potatoes to the air fryer, just like that. Shake it up so that the bottom's covered. And then we're going to set the timer for, let's say, about 18 minutes. And about halfway through, I'll take it out and stir it up, okay? So I'll be back in a few minutes, and we'll have our finished dish plated. Okay, so it's about 18 minutes later. We have seconds left on the uh, sweet potato fries. So I'm going to go ahead and plate this delicious Swiss chard. Um, two big packs really does cook down quite a bit, just like uh, spinach and, and collard greens and kale. So there's our Swiss chard, and I'll go ahead and pull this out. And... Notice how nice and golden brown our fries are. So just dump them in there. This air fryer again, is one of my, probably my tie for my, uh, it's tie for my favorite thing to use in the kitchen. So we'll just go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of the sweet potato fries on the plate. And boom, this is Sunday dinner. Sweet potato fries and Swiss chard. So Again, I'm on my second or third glass of water. This is Sunday dinner. Um, if you have any questions or comments, again, please let me know what you think. And bon appetit. Have a wonderful, blessed week. And remember to eat healthy as possible. You know, we don't want to deprive ourselves of things that we enjoy, but the things that we enjoy should be consumed in moderation, okay? Have a blessed week, and thanks again.